What's up guys? Derek from moreplatesmoredates.com. Today we're going to be talking about the shelf life of peptides and growth hormone before degradation. So there are, you know, I'm not going to say theories necessarily, but a lot of people seem to have strong opinions about, you know, the shelf life and how how long these things can last in room temperature versus in the fridge versus in the freezer, stuff like that. At the end of the day, if you really think about it, the ship time of these compounds when you're, you know, most of the, most people who are getting it are getting it through, you know, black market means. The transition of these products from, you know, origin to seller to likely middleman to likely you, there's so much ship time that these things aren't being refrigerated. And 99% of the time, they're not shipped with like ice packs or anything. Yet, nobody's complaining about, you know, degradation upon receiving their products. And they're like freaking out once they get it, it needs to be thrown in the fridge right away. And stuff like that. And then they're worried about, you know, the 10 minutes it took for them to drive from the post office to put it in their fridge. When in reality, it's been sitting under the fridge for like three months. So a lot of guys are overly freaking out about shelf life of these products when the reality is the stability of these products is a lot longer than you probably think. So like hypothetical, well, it's not a hypothetical example, real life example, my friend, had a mixed vial of melanotan too, which is a peptide, which a lot of people think, oh, if it's out of the fridge, you know, it's like degrading by the day substantially. It's like unusable. It's garbage. It's, you know, might as well not even use it. Anyways, he had this uh, vial of melanotan sitting in his pocket of his jacket or something like that for half a year mixed. He went through an entire summer with this, you know, vial of melanotan. Or no, it was in his girlfriend's purse. That's where it was. Anyway, so it was sitting in her purse. And they went about, you know, their lives, obviously. They are walking out in blistering temperatures. I think they even went on vacation at one point or something like that with the melanotan vial in the purse unknowingly. So it's been through a substantial amount of shaking. It's been through extreme, not extreme, but far higher heat than just, you know, standard room temperature. It's been exposed to light and like all these things that you're, are like complete no-nos when it comes to peptide storage. And then he found out, oh, oh crap, I still have this in here. And he didn't even realize and he tried it and there was literally no difference in potency from the day he got it to this half a year later when it had been, you know, completely, you know, tampered with. So this isn't indicative of every peptide obviously some are more sensitive than others like igf and gh i think are far more sensitive than melanotan too for example but a lot of people are overly freaking out about you know the shelf life of these things and they think oh uh, you know if i if i like shook it accidentally too hard it's oh it's bunk now oh it's been like out of the fridge for overnight i forgot to put it in the fridge it's bunk now might as well throw it out it's not the case guys Ideally, when you get, you know, a peptide, it's a lyophilized frozen puck of powder. If you want to store it long term, you put it in the freezer. If it's mixed, you store it in the fridge. That's kind of, at the end of the day, the, you know, standard for extending the shelf life of these products for maximum duration. But as far as, you know, freaking out about degradation if uh, you know you accidentally left your kid out overnight or you know it was in your car overnight or whatever a lot of guys are freaking out for nothing and yeah these, these things are a lot more stable than our you know ideas are thrown around on the forums and whatnot so keep that in mind don't if if something happens where you know it's you forget something it's in you know your room for a few weeks or something like that before you put it in the fridge by accident obviously I would advise, you know, using proper storage procedures to maximize the duration of these products. But at the end of the day, if, if you screw up by accident, your stuff is fine. Don't freak out. So anyways, hope that dispelled some rumors, some myths, because I know when I was, you know, first learning about this stuff, I'd read about it on forums and guys, guys, you know, they think it's the end of the world because their kit's been shipped, not like in a fridge or something like that. And that's not how it works. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplatesmoredays.com. Subscribe there. Talk to you guys soon.